So at uh, Kiproba uh, Brand Kenya, we are very clear that uh, for us to actually access this huge opportunity, like I said, three, three and a half trillion dollars, 1.4 billion people, we are actually in our strategy for the next five years, we are very clear that we want to build uh, warehouses, and I call them Kenya House, and in that Kenya House, we will take our exporters to the watering hole. So we'll have, uh, the plan is in the next 24 months, we'll have almost 20 warehouses on the continent of Africa. We'll be, DRC probably will be the first one. And then we'll move on, we'll look at strategic markets, we'll look at our products, we'll look at the import book of that individual country. The, what does Ghana buy? Where does it buy from? Can Kenya replace that supply chain? And how are we competitive to do that? What is required for us to be competitive? So, so we're going to do a lot of YY analysis and we're going to do it sectorially. And once we've done the YY analysis sectorially, we'll be actually able to make up a business plan. It's really not so difficult. It can be done on the back of an envelope. All you need to do is simple logic and, and then take your exporters there. So we will have this facility which we will partner with our exporters. Primarily, it'll be Kenya Association Manufacturers, purely because there's a value addition component for the rules of origin under the CFTA, like under COMESA. And that as soon as you meet that value addition criteria, you're allowed this duty-free market access. And yes, so we will be able to, to take you there. Uh, consolidate cargo initially because it'll be difficult for somebody to fill up a 40-footer to go to DRC with just one line item. You probably need 50 different SKUs. So we might talk to 20 different uh, manufacturers, put their goods in one container, initially do once a week, then as business starts picking up, maybe do it twice a week, then maybe three times a week, and then maybe every day. So make it easy. Take the exporter uh, to the watering hole, as I call it, to the marketplace. In that marketplace, he will be able to then sell into that uh, domestic ter territory, pay the domestic taxes, and we will take a whole ecosystem with us. We're even talking to Equity Bank and other African and Kenyan banks that are interested to partner with us so that they will be part of the ecosystem. We will create an ecosystem for our investors, our exporters, and make it seamless uh, to the marketplace.